Hello, welcome to another video on using Smartsheet. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can parse selections in a multi select drop down into single cells. And before I start, I have a column here showing the number of selections in each cell here. So in this first one, I have three fruits selected. And so the quantity selected is three. And to do this, I use the count M formula. And this is easy to use. It's equals count M. And then you put the cell containing the multi drop down selections there. And that will give you the number of selections. Now, if you want to parse out values in this multi-select column, before you start, you want to have an idea of, of how many selections that you're going to separate out. Um, the reason being, you have to write an individual formula for each uh, selection that you want to pull from the uh, multi-dropdown selection. In this example, I'm choosing to parse up to three values from this multi drop down column. And one other thing about this quantity column having the quantity selected in a separate column is not required, but to make this example easier to follow, I put the count in a separate column. So I'll go ahead, I'll unhide my columns. And you can see in this first row, I've selected three fruits. So fruit one corresponds to apple, two corresponds to orange, and three corresponds to watermelon. In the case where I've only selected one fruit, in the fruit two and three, I simply say none selected. If I select more than three, then it displays more than three selected. So it's up to you how you want to change these messages or, or if you don't care about having messages here, depends on your use case. But I went ahead and put these in just to give a little more functionality and, and show what happens if you select less than three or more than three. And so, I'll go ahead and go through these formulas one by one. In the description of this video, I'm going to put the formulas that I used so that way you can try this in your own sheet. I'll go ahead and start with the case, a simple case of only one selection. In that case, I have this formula. First of all, it checks. If more than three have been selected, then I, I automatically say more than three selected. And that's where the formula stops. In the case where only one is selected here, it simply takes the value from the fruit multi-select cell in this row and displays it. In fact, that's what's occurring in this row. I have one selected cherry and fruit one displays cherry. Now in the case where I have more than one selected here, we'll go ahead and continue following this formula through. If the quantity is selected as greater than one, then what it does, it starts from the left of this string in the multi-select cell. And you have to think about these multi-select values as being a string separated by the character 10. And so what this formula does is starts from the left of the string, finds the instance of character 10, which in this case is after grape. And this find function returns the position of this character 10. 
and that feeds into the left formula, which says take from the left the number of characters up to this character 10. And then it displays it. Grape. Okay. And of course, if none of these if statements are true, it states none selected. Now, in the case where, okay, for our, our fruit number two, again, we check that if there's more than three, more than three selected. If there are two items selected here, then what we want to do is ta again take this string and we're going to use the substitute function. And so we're going to take this string and this substitute function, which is the search text. The search text is your text from your multi select cell. And the old text will be what's in the first fruit column. So fruit one, and then we want to add the character 10 to it because this character 10 is not contained in this fruit one cell. So we want to add it to it or, or concatenate it to the text in this fruit one cell. And then we're going to substitute grape plus character 10 with an empty string. And after we do that, we're going to be left with just watermelon. So that's actually the case here where I have two selections. It takes great plus character 10, replaces it with nothing or an empty string, and I'm left with watermelon. Now in this case where I have more than two selected, we'll keep following this formula here. And in this case, I'm actually checking greater than one. You could also check greater than two. That's, that would be uh, actually a better way to do this. So I have more than two selected. And we're going to use a combination of the substitute, find, and uh, left formulas. And so again, we're going to take the substitute function first. We're going to take what's in the fruit one cell, add the character 10 to it, replace that with an empty string. And also what we have to do, we have to find the next character 10, because remember there's three, there's three items selected. So there's a character 10 after banana, and a character 10 after blueberry. So we're going to take banana plus character 10, replace it with an empty string. And then also in the find function, we're gonna, we're gonna use the same substitute formula here as the, um, as the text to search. So think, think of this where you are um, taking the substituted string minus, or, or taking this string with the multi-select cell here, you're getting rid of banana and you're only looking at blueberry and strawberry. That's effectively what the substitute function is doing. And so within the blueberry strawberry string, we're going to look for the character 10. And that is going to tell this left function where to um, stop or, or what item to select from this blueberry strawberry string. In this case, it's going to be blueberry. So it displays blueberry here. And again, if there's not a, a second um, selection, then it'll, it'll state none selected. Now for the third position, again, we check if there's more than three, more than three selected. If the quantity selected is three, then we use the substitute function. And this time we're going to substitute 
banana plus character 10 and the, the second fruit selection, blueberry, and another character 10, we're going to replace that with an empty string. And in this case, that leaves us with simply strawberry. And for completeness, we've also included the none selected as the else uh, value in this if statement. And here's an example of more than three selected. It says more than three selected all the way across the row. And so you can see, I'll just change this up a bit, but in this one column, so apple, apple, I can choose a couple other ones and they'll display here. Choose a third, strawberry. Let's say I want to select all. More than three selected. Okay, I hope this is helpful if you're trying to parse out um, individual values from a multi select column. Um, if you were to do a fourth column, then you would, you would follow a similar uh, formula recipe of substitutions and checking the number of selections here. So I'll put the Again, I'll, I'll put the formulas I used down in the description. Um, hopefully you like this video. Please like it, subscribe, and enjoy using your Smartsheet.